Hi, I'm Nolan Piper. This video covers the advanced functions of the Active RPN calculator, coming soon for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. For an introduction to reverse Polish notation, please check out the earlier basics video in this series. This calculator has 10 memories, and we'll start by showing you how to access them with the store key. So I've got some values in memory right now. I'll clear those with the G clear memory. We've got last X and last Y on this calculator. So if you do a calculation, let's say 25 times 4, so 25 enter 4 times, on the right you'll see the last function and you'll also see the last X and the last Y. So the last X we can get with the G last X and the last y we can get with g last y. We've got some other scientific functions which aren't showing on this keyboard right now by default, so let's get them back. Let's go to settings and turn scientific keys on. Alright, I'll just swap the x and y right now and demonstrate n factorial. So that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The next functions do some conversions. So we've got rectangular and polar. We've got hours, minutes, seconds, and hours. We've got radians and degrees. So for example, if we've got x equals 10, y equals 10, in polar coordinates, with the g to polar, we get an r of 14 at an angle of 45 degrees. If we have 180 degrees, we want to convert that to radians, F to radians, and we see we have pi radians in 180 degrees. The next row of functions are the familiar trigonometry functions. 45 degrees, we'll take the cosine, we get a helpful diagram as well. On the top left, we have some other functions. We've got e to the x and its complement, the natural logarithm. We've got log base 10. We've got 1 over x. We've got pi. And then on the right of the keyboard, we have some percent functions. So for example, if we've got 75 and we want to add 15 percent. Go 75, enter 15, and then we select percent, so that's G percent. So 15 percent of 75 is 11.25. If we want to add that, we just press plus. Percent change takes uh, the difference from the first number to the second number, so let's say 80 to 60 G percent change, that's a 25 percent drop. And you'll see the diagram on the right shows the first number was 80, the second number is 60, and the change in red um, was minus 25. If it was the other way, let's say 60 to 80 G percent change, 60 to 80 is a 33 and a third percent increased, and that's shown with the, the green. We've got square root, squared, and then we've got the general power functions. So for example, if we have 5 to the third power, it's y to the x, we have 125. If we want to take the cube root of that, we've got a function y to the 1 over x. So if I have 125 to the one-third power, I can do that with this, and I'm back to 5. I showed you the settings screen briefly. It allows scientific keys to show. Um, the functions are available either way, but if you'd like a cleaner keyboard, you can turn the scientific keys by default off, if you like. We've got a radians mode, we've got scientific notation, we've got the 
T-register replication, which talk, was talked about in the basics. Animation speed. We've got a, a number of, of other screens here. If you want more information on, on another subject, it may well be available here. We've covered the advanced functions of the Active RPN calculator. These functions can be used in programming as well. Be sure to check out the other Active RPN calculator videos. Thank you. Enjoy.